Uh, this is it here, the report in uh, protection of free speech. And I have thought for some time we need some legal protections uh, that are enshrined in law in the US via, via the First Amendment, because especially working as a member in, of the media, people have no idea the way our wings are clipped on a daily basis because of legal fears, which our counterparts in the US just do not have to deal with. Yes, and supposedly we have protections um, through the Human Rights Act, um, which incorporates into British law, English and Scottish law, um, Article 10, which is the right to um, freedom of uh, expression. And that's important, and that has that, that is obviously based upon long-standing common law rights and is derived from the English common law and, to an extent, the Bill of Rights of 1689. But, as you say, um, freedom of speech is under attack and um, it, it, it just sim simply isn't sufficient, uh, in my view, to say that because we have these long-standing protections that, that freedom, we can assume, will mm. be accepted and will be... Permitted because we we live in a world, Francis, where people are losing jobs on a regular basis now for simply expressing opinions and views. By the way, which are completely legal, they they just go against what the woke corporate elite think. I, I mean, think this the, is where we're at. At the launch, um, the, the um, uh, it was suggested, it was said that there are something like six hundred. Um, in the last year or possibly two years. And we do actually propose that um, freedom of speech itself should be protected in employment law um, for those who are speaking outside the course of their employment. Yes. So obviously we accept that if you're an army officer or if you're a policeman and you can't you, speak about politics um, even outside your employment, so there can be exceptions for that. And there might be a reason why you stop political speech inside your employment. You might want to stop people because of controversy, you might want to stop mm. bad feeling, and so on. But if you're making political speech on Twitter, it's simply not good enough to say you have a protection of having a philosophical belief, because sometimes you might be giving a perfectly reasonable or unreasonable speech that is disliked by your employer. It doesn't necessarily mean you have a philosophical belief which is protected by the Equality Act, and then you will not be protected, and you will have no comeback and no resource and if you are dismissed. And we have seen it so much over the past 18 months, haven't we? People like you and people like me who question some of the draconian and authoritarian uh, legal measures that have been introduced to this country on the basis of public health. Uh, we've been accused of being irresponsible or we've been shut down or the media hasn't reported on what we're saying because of a fear of Ofcom. And actually, I think what it's done is, is meant that the country has actually never had a proper debate, like a real debate about lockdown and the collateral damage of lockdown. And I'm not saying that I know everything and I'm right, but all I've asked for is a proper debate and we haven't had it. And I think it shows just how worrying this move towards stopping free speech in lots of settings is, because this has been some of the biggest changes to the law of our times and changes to our civil liberties of our times, and we're still not properly debating it. Judge in the Court of Appeal giving permission to um, put our case to a full hearing of the court in uh, last year said these were the greatest impositions on liberty in this country in peacetime, perhaps ever. And he was unquestionably mm -hmm. right. Never before have we had freedom of assembly completely curtailed, without exception, according to the letter of the law. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.